You may look at the Nigerian map and assume that these southeast states are small in size. They include Imo, Abia, Anambra, Enugu, Eboin. These states may be clustered together in the map in a way that seems like they are closely interconnected and will take only a matter of minutes to go from city to city. But being a regular traveler, I can tell you for free that it is an entirely different experience by road. As our people will say in Pidgin English, Body go tell you. Going from one end of the cities in this state to the next is quite a journey, as small as they appear to be. Take for example, Oweri to Abba. No scratch that Umaya to Abba, apparently both cities are the same Abia state. Notwithstanding, it's one trip that could make you think about your life over and over again because the long distance gives you all the time in the world to do so while seated in any of those Afpa, Purupa, Olden Days, Mesdis buses that mostly ply the route. I remember heading to Abba from Umaya, the journey was endless. Oweru to Enugu is one trip that almost like the biblical 40 days and 40 nights. Okay, I'm joking, but this journey could keep you on the road from morning to midday. I'd advise do attempt this trip on any empty stomach. One would think Onicha to Oweri is a walk in the park, but on a good day, that's roughly a four hour trip, and this includes the incessant traffic faced there. Then, Oweru to Port Accord, forget what you heard about them being neighboring cities. It's another long journey that might leave you exhausted even before you reach the welcome to River State signpost at the River State border. Plus, the main journey actually begins on arriving to Port Harcourt City, which is almost the size of a nation. Enugu to Port Harcourt is another drill journey that might keep you on the road for as long as five hours, although it is a smooth trip since the Enugu Port Harcourt Expressway was recently dialyzed by the federal government. Apart from Enugu, Eboyin is a fearful distance from the eastern state, from Onicha to Eboyin, for example, might take five hours for, of your day. You see, these states are no, no, not as closely as they appear on the map. They are far from each other, though they may appear close on the map, but not as close as they appear on the map. We now see that the southeast states in Nigeria are not as small as they appear on the map we all, we all see every day. We see the map and we see the way these states are being, you know, interconnected to each other on the map. But we are made to understand that the way they are being interconnected on the map is not the same way they are being closed when you are trying to you know reach those states well let's see people's reaction and know their thoughts about what we have just had on now julius emeka said it is a good observation but the landmass is small compared to other regions we have heard what emeka said that this is a good observation but the landmass is small compared to other areas. What do you have to say about this? Though the landmass is small compared to other regions that have more than 20 ethnic groups in the southeast and western part are predominantly IPOPs, drive from Arochuku to Agbo. What will you see a uh, Igbo community? Just as Ona said, that the landmass is small. 
Now, the landmass is only small when it is compared to more than 20 ethnic groups, the southeast and the western part, which are predominantly the IPOBs and Igbos. You know, Agbo, we, what will you see about this Igbo community is that you will see that these Igbos have, you know, land mass. Their land mass is not small because they have more than 20 ethnic groups in the southeast region. What I try to point out is that as small as they appear on the map, they are big. Take, for example, Ngo Opala in Imo State alone is a big local government area. Well, let's look further and see what other people have to say about this issue of state on map that appears small on the map, but they are big and are not interconnected the way they have been shown on the map. Ifai Uha Madu said, the map size is not a true reflection of the size of the stairs on ground. This is true that the map size is not the true reflection of the size or of the stairs on ground. When you see the map size, you see how small it is and it comprises of the whole Nigeria. You see Nigerian, a Nigerian map, how small it is and has over 36 states in it containing uh, local governments in different states. So the way the way we see the map is not the true reflection of the size of the stairs on ground. That is what Ifani said, and that is correct. We would like to see your own thoughts about this issue on ground. We would like to know what you have to say about this. Let's move forward and see what other people have to say about this. Guest here said, you are very right. Some armchair critic will think it's possible to tour around the southeast in two hours much to the fact that the nigerian map made it look so tiny when you look at the nigerian map you see that all these routes look so tiny and some armchair critic just as guests as refer to them will think it's possible to tour around the southeast in two hours because the map has just made it look so tiny and people think you can just tour around the southeast the whole southeast in two hours well with what we have had i think you should now know that it's not possible to tour around this old of southeast within two hours we'd like to know your own reaction and thought about this we have been told that the southeast states in nigeria are not as small as they appear on the map what is your reaction to this do subscribe to this channel if you have not thank you guys for listening and i'll see you on the other news Bye for now.